In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to check the edit history in Google Docs. So, every time you make an edit in a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, or a Google Slide, all those edits are actually saved into a history that you can then go back and look at later. And if you want, you can even restore to back to a previous edit so that if you maybe made a whole lot of changes one day and then the next day you made a whole lot of other changes, if you then decide that you want to go back to the previous day so all the changes you made today will be gone and the document will look the way it did earlier that morning, you can quite easily do that. So, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can go back and look at the version history in Google Docs and will also work in Google Sheets and Google Slides and Timmy will also show you how you can restore your file back to what it, a previous version if you want. So, when you're in your Google Doc or Sheet or Slide, you'll just need to come up here and click on File and then come down to Version History and hover over here and then click on See Version History. As you can see here, you can name the versions, but to be honest, Timmy's never really found a good reason to name versions, so Timmy just leaves them all unnamed, but you could name it if you wanted. But to see the history, just click on Version History here, and now it will pull up the version history. So this is the current version of the Google Doc you can see here, and it's actually showing us that the most recent edit to be made was adding this sentence below here, so that's why that's in green. And if you look at the all the different versions down the side here, you'll see today is when Timmy made that edit to add that. But if Timmy wanted to go back to before Timmy had added that sentence, Timmy could click on the version from yesterday. And now that sentence won't be here. So if you scroll down, that last sentence is gone. And you will see this stuff is highlighted in purple here because this version is when a different person, so Timmy's demo account, as opposed to Tech Time with Timmy, because this document is shared, a different person has typed in this paragraph here. And if you go back even further before that, you could click on this version here, and you'll see this version is when Timmy added this paragraph and the image. And the other paragraph that was below the image is not there at all now. And Sometimes, when you make a whole lot of changes in a small amount of time, it will actually split them up into multiple little versions underneath one big version. So you'll see this version here has this little arrow next to it, and if you click on the arrow here, it'll show you there's one little version underneath that big version. So the last edit to be made at 3.30 p.m. was to change will to will, to be corrected a spelling mistake, and to add that image. But if we click on this little one that's under where we've dropped down the menu, you'll see before that, at also 3.30 p.m. or perhaps 3.29 or something like that, if it's at a different time, to me added this paragraph. So if you want to get even more granular and go back to half the edit you were just in or something like that, that can be really good as well. But if you only care about doing the big chunks, so just what it was two hours ago or something, you can just ignore these drop down arrows and leave it selected on the whole thing. And that way it will do all of the edit that was at around this time. So now if you wanted to restore your document back to this version, so there's all this text and there's the image below it, but there's none of the text below the image because that was all in later versions. You could restore it back to this version by clicking on Restore This Version here, and then clicking on Restore to confirm you want to do it. And now you'll be taken back to your document, and if you scroll down, you'll see there's nothing below the image. So everything highlighted in that color was changes that to me had made in this version, and all those changes will still be in here. But any changes that happened a while after that that were not showing in the version you were looking at at all, when you click restore, they will be removed when you, they will not be there when you restore it. So that's really cool. And if you restore a document and then you decide you actually didn't want to restore it or you accidentally restored it to the wrong version, you can actually restore the restore. 
So if you go back and click on file and hover over version history and click see version history, you'll see the current version is one that you've restored. So if you go back to the version at 8.47 a.m., you'll see you have all the text there. So if you click on restore this version and click on restore, it will go back to what it was before you restored the version. As you can see, this text is now back here. So that's really cool, but sometimes you might want to restore a document to go back to what it was before, but you also want to keep the current version to maybe have two different documents. And that's actually quite easy to do as well. You just need to go back into the version history by clicking on file, hovering over version history and clicking on see version history. And then you'll need to choose the version you want to restore to. So if you want to restore back to this version here, where this paragraph is added, but the other sentence is not there, rather than clicking on restore this version, because that would overwrite your current version, you can just click on the three dots here next to the version you want to make a copy of and click make a copy. And now it will make a copy of that old version. So the version that was created at 5.15 p.m. when Timmy's demo account added a paragraph will now be copied into a new Google Doc. And the current version of this Google Doc will stay the same. So you'll just need to give this new Google Doc a name. Timmy will just call it example document old version. And then you can choose the folder, but Timmy's just going to leave it in my drive because that's where Google Docs usually go anyway. And you can also choose to share it with the same people. So if you had this Google Doc shared with people, you might want to have the new one shared with people as well. So Timmy's actually going to tick that. But if you don't have it shared with anyone or you do have it shared with people, but you don't want the new copy to be shared with people, you would leave that unticked. And then just click on OK. And now it will create your new copy. So your old version will be copied into this new Google Doc here. And as you can see, we've got this paragraph here and the image and this paragraph, but not the last sentence that was typed. So the old version is now in this new Google Doc. And if we come back to this original version and go back to the Google Doc here, you'll see this still has the sentence because this is still the current version. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to that. And it'll work just the same in Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Slides. But Google Sheets actually also has a different pretty cool feature for looking at version history. So if you go into Google Sheet, you will also be able to click on File and come down to Version History and click on See Version History if you want. But in addition to that, you can also right click on a cell. So if Timmy right clicked on this cell and then click show edit history. And now it will show the edit history. So you'll see in the history here, Tech Time with Timmy added a whole lot of fives. And if Timmy was to replace the fives with sixes and press enter and then right click on it again and click on show edit history. It will say tech time with Timmy replaced the fives with six, 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 six. And if you click on this back arrow here to go back to the previous edit, you will be able to see that tech time with Timmy added a whole lot of fives. So there's no option to restore it when you do it this way. So if you want to restore things or you want to look at the entire version history for everything in the Google sheet, you can use the regular way like Timmy showed you in Google Docs and that'll work just fine. But if you just want to go back and quickly check the history of one specific cell, you can do that with this method quite easily. So that's really cool. And that's really all there is to checking the version history in Google Docs and restoring it if you want to. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below and Tim will see you in the next video.